Did you like it though? Did you double time? What up? What up? Fantasy football hustler back at you. We got some more dynasty talk here with my homie, that fantasy guy. And we're about to be talking about the combine. Who are some of the winners and who are some of the losers? What's going on, bro? Hey, man. So for me, one of the losers that dropped in a little value was David Bell. You know, David Bell had a lot of attributes that I like. And I'm not saying I thought he was going to go to the combine and kill it. But, man, look, when you good like that, I don't want to see you run a 4.65. I just don't want to see it. I mean, you're saying this, this is something you've been preparing for after the season. Four, six, five. Come on, man. I'd rather you not run the 40. I'm just saying. So my, uh, he took a hit for me. Especially when we see 350 pound linemen running, going out there, running a four, eight, like you gotta be <laughs> dusting those guys. Another loser for me was Isaiah Spiller. You know, uh, uh, some people are higher on him than others. Now, he's still my number three by default because it's it's not like it's the most talented class. He's still my number three. But, you know, I I really wanted to see him testing. He didn't go out and do a 40. He went out and did a horrible vertical. So it's like right now I'm wondering, do he have any explosiveness? So – Right now, to meet the speed score that I need to see on his pro day, I'm going to need a 4.4. I'm going to need a 4.4 because at the end of the day, I really need a 4.45. But pro day times, man, you got to take away .05 because, you know, of that hand time. You know, it, it all day time is going to be juice. So right. he's going to really need to go to the pro day and, and show out for me to think about him. So. As for right now, I don't think he's going to be able to be my R, RB2. I think the the ceiling for him is RB3. And I've been seeing, I mean, everyone is really high on him. I, I mean, well, pre-combine, you know, because I don't think I've seen him anywhere outside. He was number two for every single list that I've saw. So you put uh, Kenneth Walker above him now? Yeah. I mean, for me, Spiller, I've seen a lot of skills on film. Pop out the tape? No. I didn't love him. I I I put in my notes. I pretty much, if he if he meets my athletic threshold, my little prototype I have, then then I like him. But right right now, he already proven by this vertical thirty vertical. Now he claiming he hurt. Now if you hurt, why are you even doing any of the drills? If you really yeah. hurt, come on, come on, come on. Because Drake London, guess what? He wasn't out there doing those drills. If he said he was hurt, he he didn't do any. So you can't you can't try to go out there and do something, then claim you hurting. So I, I'm skeptical about uh, Isaiah Spiller, Kenneth Walker. Only thing I questioned about him was his pass catching, and he he went out there and looked good catching the ball. Sometimes your team you own just don't give you opportunity to catch the ball, but right. he's the best runner in this draft. So you got to give him credit for that. He looked good catching the ball. He excelled any in, in 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 all other ways. So, yeah, he's over. He's over Spiller for me. Yeah, I don't I don't like that Spiller news coming out and saying he's hurt. Like you shouldn't have excuses. Like you said, just don't do it. Wait for the pro day. You know, because there's a difference between hurt and injured. You're going to be playing hurt a lot of times in the NFL. You know, if he's really injured right now, he shouldn't even suit it up. But yeah, that's a big red flag for me. I mean, not necessarily for Dynasty, for redraft. I mean, he's someone I'm probably going to be fully off of depending on the landing spot. But, yeah, Dynasty, a couple ticks down for sure. Now, another player was Kyron Williams. Now, we knew that Kyron Williams really wasn't the the prototypical running back size. You know, he, he ended up wearing it at five. Uh, he, he measured in at five nine, one ninety four, and he showed up. To the to the forty and go go give me a four six five. You sub two hundred pounds and you gonna give me a four six five. You shouldn't have ran. Go smack your agent. Your agent doing you wrong. He shouldn't have let you run. You know what you run. You've been practicing it for this. So if you know you're not running well, don't go out there and run. I don't understand. So for me, I'm skeptical of him. And he had a lot of things going for him. Don't walk a semi finalist. Paul Horney Award finalist. You know, his tape looked good. He's a punt. He's even a punt returner. And he go out there and 
Hey man, at the end of the day, this combine is still it's like running running a political race, man. You gotta yeah. look good. <laughs> you gotta look good. Yeah. You know you're not gonna look good. Don't go out there. Yep. I mean, this is all about the money. You gotta put your A game, you know, on tape. You come out with there with your B plus game or your C game. No, all that does is just hurt the stock. Um, another name that I kept seeing a bunch of Damian Pierce. Now, you know what happened? He he was a year ago, was on Brutes Feldman's freak list. So people thought he was going to test well. So maybe it set his the expectations for him high, and he didn't meet those expectations because, I mean, everything else, you know, was decent. It's like a 34.5 vertical. I prefer all my running uh, running backs to hit that 35 mark. He did a broad jump or 119. I like the 120, you know, like like that's that's like my mark as far as the speed. I, I don't care that much about speed for running backs unless you're small. Unless if you're small and slow, no, I don't like you. But he was 5'10, 218. He ran a 459. I, I, for you to get in a prototype, I like for the most part, I like a 453. So, so right outside of that, he was pretty close. Yeah. Any other guys that we should talk about who bumped up some of the winners in of the combine? Course. So, we got to talk about the, the 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 news that's going around, and you not I know you hearing it. The new rookie dynasty one on one, Brees Hall. Yeah, Brees Hall went to the combine and he killed it, running a four three nine, doing a forty inch vertical broad jump one twenty six. I mean, hey, all the notes he got him say he and all the notes, baby. <laughs> so I love it. I love it. So we already knew that he was going to be the 101 for fantasy, but that's what we needed to see, though. We needed to see him come out there and kill it, just show the all levels. What? Where, where's he going to go? Is he going to end up going to, like, the Eagles or something with all their crazy-ass uh, picks that they got in the first round? You think the Eagles go pick another running back? I don't know. But the Eagles is a bad organization. I I wouldn't put nothing behind Well, You know, I hate to call them bad organization. They just won a Super Bowl not that long ago. But if you <laughs> wrap in a running back in the first round, as in an NFL team, you're doing it wrong. I know, I know we love to see you know teams drafting a running back for no, like if 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 I was a fan of that team, I'd be like, you're doing it wrong. We can always get a running back. We can get a running back in the second round. How about that? Not a first round running back. I understand. Look, I understand, like if, if it's very very at the very end of the first round, kind of like um what the Chiefs did, but guess what? The Chiefs did it, and the Chiefs got it wrong. So if you're not even going to do it right, don't do it. How you how you pass up Jonathan Taylor? How you pass up Swift, Dobbins, Aiken? You passed up all the good running backs to pick like one of the, the one I had the I had on um, Ceh at running back eight. That's the one they end up drafting the first running back off the board. I said, God, just to not he was a pass catching running back. Just to not throw any passes to him. So you could have just had Jonathan Taylor had him running up the middle. You wanted somebody to run up the middle. Yep. And and who knows how much Patrick Mahomes was really campaigning for him. Because I know that's an easy out for the Chiefs to say, oh, yeah, you know, Patrick wanted him. And that's who he went with because then they're not too much to blame. But, yeah, either way, they definitely did it wrong. And the reason why I say the Eagles is their, uh, their first, I mean, their three picks at 15, 16, 19. They're not the smartest organization, so that's why I could see them doing something like that and just going and adding another running back to their crazy-ass running back room that they have already because none of them seem to pan out. Well, I actually like Kenneth Gainwell, but we'll we'll see we'll see how he do. Um, but another winner for me is Rashard White. Now, with Rashard White, like I, I heard a lot of hype about him, and I was just like, uh, you know, he's okay. You know, in my notes, I, I this is exactly what I had in my notes. If he runs faster than a four or five, I'm interested. That man went out there and ran a four four eight. I said, "Well, I'm gonna rise you up my ranking, buddy." You know, yeah. so uh, I I like that six foot two fourteen. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. He and he thirty eight vertical, broad jump one twenty five. So he's an athletic big boy. And he's kind of he's what he's kind of in those tier two like running backs also right, yeah yeah um 
and my tier two is kind of wide because you just don't know what landing spots these guys go land in. But so it's just landing spot spot dependent with him. But at least I can say I'm interested. Yeah, definitely. Another another winner, and I mean I'm sure this name has rung you know loud enough for you to hear. This guy, most people didn't know he existed before the Senior Bowl week, and that's Christian Watson. You know, yeah. the, uh, Christian Watson went to the Senior Bowl, did well, killed there, went to the NFL Combine, killed there, ran a four three six. I mean, so right now he is the craze. Only thing about it, he did go to a small school, so. That's the only thing you wonder if all these skills is going to translate to the NFL, but all the attributes he has, huh, it looks tantalizing. 6'4", 208, 30, 33-inch uh, w- wing, uh, wingspan, 10-inch hands. I mean, hey, man, you know, uh, all the things you like. Sounds like the sounds sounds like the Raiders uh, type of wide receiver right there. They <laughs> <laughs> said no, that's the only, the only thing of what with him because you didn't see them wide receivers that come out and test well. Someone like what is was that guy named Miles Boykins came out. He was crazy athletic and give you nothing. So you know you just don't know. I, I assume this guy is good. I hope this guy is good, but we won't know until he touched the field. You know. Yep. Well, I love it, man. All the winners and losers, and I'm sure we're going to have more coming out as well. You know, some post combine stuff and a whole bunch of other news that I'm sure is going to be coming about these guys. But I'm excited. We are in full blown draft mode right now. NFL draft is only a month and a half away. I like it. And I'm trying to draft some teams before the draft. I, I want to get in leagues that I'm able to draft the rookies. Um, before the draft, so guess what? I can show you I'm right about these rookies. You yeah, know, that's I, you know what? I, I take stance on my players, and I'm all for it. But everybody, you know, a lot of people scared to do that. They'd be like, "Nah, I need to know what these landing spots at." No, not me, because I know, I know, I did my work with these rookies, and I know who good, and I don't mind where they land. Hell yeah, hell yeah! But not everyone is on your level. Here's the beast about all this. <laughs> why we're homie. <laughs> Yeah, if you need to know about rookies, you better go subscribe to his YouTube channel because he's always dropping isms, those draft profiles. I mean, that's huge. If you don't know any of these names, go get subbed up right now. We're out. We're bringing more Dynasty talk every week all the way through the season. So make sure you guys are chiming in. We appreciate you. We'll see you next video.